Hello, good evening, Hello. ma. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Are you? I'm good. So tell me about you. Tell me about your role. Tell me about your company. Uh, my current role, um, I manage the data strategy for fintech in uh, one of the leading financial services. But before then, I've worked in different industries. I've worked in telecommunications, I've been in the FMCG, I've worked in retail, but overall the on overarching function that I've always been in is in the data function, in, but in different domains, in different organizations. Okay, so what's one advice you have for entry-level data, data professionals and uh, data enthusiasts as um, a team leader, as a data team leader? Okay, so I think the first advice I'll give to data enthusiasts and maybe very young people in the data space is don't just focus on learning the concepts, you know, look for how to apply it to businesses, to maybe government. Find a way to apply what you have learned. Because I, I say this often, data doesn't exist in silos. It is a means to an end. So if you learn the, the most popular tool or you learn the most framework and you cannot use it to solve a business problem, to drive transformation or to drive an innovative idea, then you're not going to go. It's going to pull a, a showstopper on your progress as you are said because you will not be an enthusiast forever. For you to move from an entry level to a mid level and to a leadership role, it's your ability to begin to fuse your data and technical skill with business acumen, being that bridge and using it to solve and improve processes in any organization you find yourself. Yeah, thank you, Mark. So, what are those skills that um, um, a data entry level should have to get their first job? I think the first thing is. While it looks like it's a technical role, I would recommend that you start with the soft skills. The first one is communication, uh, curiosity. So by communication, I mean when you're working with data, you don't work in isolation. You work with stakeholders, whether it's on the business side or on the technical side. So your ability to communicate what you have seen from the data and how it can be used is going to give you that jump that you need. So while it's important that you learn the skills, find, again, the next advice would be, find a domain area that you want to specialize in. I always tell people, say this often, there's riches in niches. Don't just be a generalist. Find a way to be a specialist. You can start as a generalist, but overall, be a specialist. By specializing, I mean, find a domain you could Spe you could specialize in sports, you could specialize in finance, you could specialize in, 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 in healthcare, right? Find an area where you already have existing knowledge and then layer your data skill. That would really be like the differentiating factor. Because there's a lot of data enthusiasts, there are a lot of data analysts. But if you bring a random data analyst into a completely different domain, if you don't have an understanding of how healthcare works, for example, you cannot solve a problem you don't know. So I think its application is the gap that I really see a lot of new entrants experience. But having that experience, the specialization mindset, even if you don't start as a specialist, but think of an area where you want to specialize in. There are a lot of use cases, but these use cases don't exist in data. They exist in a business. They could exist in marketing. They could exist in sales. They could exist in HR. And because you understand how, for example, recruitment happens or why people are leaving organizations, you have an understanding of the HR policies, guiding, recruitment, hiring. You layer the insights that you're getting from data to recommend better strategies to improve the hiring process or to improve HR as a, as a whole. So that's my advice. Thank you, Ma. All right, what is an advice here yeah, for the organizers of Data Fest Africa? So, I mean, that would be a very touchy. For me, I think I was here in the first, the Made in Edition. And if I'm being honest, being here today, 
for the first of course, I wasn't here yesterday, but being here today in this second iteration, I can say that there's been some very significant growth, and I'm proud of the organizing team. Um, it's way better than it was last year, even though last year was good in itself. Um, but another one advice I would really request for is after each event, what happens afterwards? Like, we need to start coming up with strategies on how to strengthen the community and not just for entry data analysts, but find a way to infuse data practitioners at different levels. Whether it's not just the analysts, but you're getting the middle managers, you're getting the executives, getting C level guys into this community such that we can. Data community Africa can be that place. Yeah. where when people are thinking like of recruiting right? data talent, the, they know that the they are not just limited to the entry guys. They can find data people data in different data. levels, so in different domains. So how do we get the data of these people? How do we nurture this community before each conference such that it's more robust and more solidified and we bring people not just the right. entry, the enthusiasts, but we bring professionals so and leaders in this space. And I think it will continue to strengthen the, the very good work that we're doing here. And we can, of course, spread our tentacles into very different areas. And people can begin to see the real vision that this um, organization or this community is set out to achieve. Thank because you so much. My one final question is your company currently hiring? Space well, my company hires all the time. Um, yes, so I would say my company is currently hiring. However, um, again, one of the things that I've seen in terms of, I remember at some point I engaged Data Community Africa when I was looking to recruit certain roles within my team. But the, the the gap that was observed is that a couple of people didn't have domain expertise, which is why when I started, I started with have it's it's good to be able to create dashboards, you know, analyze data, but how can you use it to? We have problems. Everybody has problems. We're looking for people to solve. How do I know that you're the best person? You just picture someone that wants to design their dream wedding dress, and they go and hire someone that just finished from a designing school. Do you understand what I mean? So you need to understand how this data works, how this organization operates, and then how you can come in to solve the problems with an understanding of where they are. Because you cannot solve a problem you don't understand. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you for coming. Thank you for your session. Thank you for your time. We really, really appreciate it.